Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kayla coming at you live from the front yard. We got Rob ready to help us out. We're doing a sick build today, taking off all the <laughs> all the the wrap on the car. Now that we start got like a decent amount of this edge up here, we just kind of want to pull up and out, get this off and as big of a piece as possible, using like you know a little bit of heat, but. Um, you're keeping it at a distance. Yeah, I got the heat gun maybe 16 inches away from the hood right now when it's low setting. Really just to uh, provide just a little bit. Vroom, vroom. That's the same guy. Is it the same guy again? Yeah. That asshole he's ruining in my video. <clears throat> but you're just going to sit here and kind of work it. Putting this tape, ripping this off isn't too difficult. It's a little time consuming and kind of just a pain going on the other side. When you're doing this, trying to go through and remove your own vinyl wrap, um, it is really important, honestly, to make sure you use the proper amount of heat. If you use too much heat, you're just going to be pulling the wrap and end up ripping it, which you see, well, you saw me do a couple of times. It's going to happen uh, just when you're trying to pull on something like that. Uh, but You'll notice that if you're using way too much heat, the whole thing's just going to break apart on you. And it, it's going to be a pain in the ass to remove, and it's not going to remove in a large piece uh, like you guys saw me do here today. So just keep that in mind. If you're having an issue with your wrap ripping constantly or it's just not peeling up, you're either most likely using too much heat. Um, if you're seeing some ripping and if it's not lifting up at all, then most likely you're uh, not using enough heat and it's not allowing the glue to release uh from uh from the vehicle the factory paint already did have some damage to it you know it's it's an old car but for the last year that i've had this uh, a little over a year now that i've had this wrap on the hood now about six months ish seven months it didn't damage it anymore so i guess that's good and this is a little bit of a process to take this off especially if you have you know, the entire car done but one of the nice things is you can do this from home if you just get tired of your wrap or you want to rewrap it or something like that or you have a little bit of damage done to it uh, and don't want to have to pay to you know have somebody unwrap it and then rewrap it to, to get that piece repaired or whatever it may be so guys i hope you enjoyed the video you know, taking off a vinyl wrap is a pretty quick process it really is all you need is a heat gun with a low setting on it from a you know, over a little over a foot away you want to heat the surface and just pull up at it. I would say the hardest part of actually doing the wrap is getting the edges up. Once you do get the edges up, do the same thing. You heat it up, but because it's such a little area, it's kind of a bitch to pick up. But once you have more of an area, you can actually hold with your hand and uh, maneuver it a little bit better, then it makes the process of doing the wrap ten, uh, removing the wrap 10 times easier. Um, so stay with it if you're trying to do it and you get a little bit frustrated yourself um, But but I promise you it is a pretty quick process. I got my gas tank done I had a little lip on my trunk wrapped as well as the entire hood and I got all of that done in about 40 minutes um, So if you guys want to use that as maybe a gauge on how long it might take you to do your full car or uh, Whatever pieces that you have wrapped hope you guys enjoyed the video Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Rob's base uh, to see all of this content first um, and as always, guys, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all the cool shit you guys do for me here on YouTube. This is Rob, and I'm out. Peace, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I got my own weed sucker, so I ain't gotta hit yours. I'm talking straight in dough. Cali weed blowing like a Rasta mine. Could see straight from a